summer enrichment for kids. The Charles River may run through Boston, but it can seem out of reach for some kids who live in some of the city's communities of color. Joining me now is Nona Junta. She's director of programming for Community Rowing in Brighton. Row Boston offers every Boston public school student a chance to row for free. So please explain how this program has been working. So uh, the program has been in, has been a real joy to sort of work with this year. Uh, we're really proud that we can offer um, Boston public school students to come and row for free in any of the programs that we offer at Community Rowing. So talk about the efforts to diversify uh, the rowing community in Boston. So we have for quite a while had programs, uh, middle school indoor rowing programs with the Boston public schools in conjunction with their physical education classes. And in that way, we can introduce rowing to a much broader audience and our coaches who actually go into the physical education classes and coach them, encourage the kids to come and actually give rowing a try here with us. Uh, this year, we're offering um, transportation uh, to the boathouse from Ruggles Station, uh, and then transportation back to Ruggles Station after a practice or a class. Um, we invite kids to come and learn to row, and they can then, if they enjoy it, continue the rowing programs uh, in any of the programs that we offer at Community Rowing. Very nice, very nice. And you know, this is more than just exercise. You know, rowing is really teamwork, isn't it? It is absolutely teamwork. Yes, we, we really like to think that it really helps people to understand teamwork, um, resilience, personal growth. Uh, and we really strive to offer uh, an atmosphere that uh, promotes diversity, belonging and respect, um, personal growth. You know, you mentioned some of the other programs. Uh, you've offered a middle school program for years now. How, how are you inspiring teachers? So we have a wonderful program uh, that we offer over the summer, and it's called the Let's Row Fellowship. And this is where we invite educational professionals, special education teachers or others from the Boston Public School System to come and join us for four weeks over the summer and go through the process of learning to be a rowing coach. Um, it's an incredibly wonderful thing to watch. We have four fellows this summer and they, they are learning a lot. They've been very busy and they're, they're really getting to see firsthand the enthusiasm that kids have when they're coming to the river for the first time. We have field trips uh, over the summer where we brought maybe 300 kids who may never have been to the boathouse before. They come, uh, our coaches bring them onto the rowing machines, go over form a little bit, and then we actually bring them right down to the river and out on the water in our training barges. Um, and we can hear, we can hear as I'm sitting at my desk, the kids cheering and clapping for each other as they're rowing on the rowing machines and then being very excited to actually get on the water and row. That's great. Right I, I hear the passion in your voice when you're talking about this. It's really special. Yeah. So how is CRI able to uh, make the offer to support these programs? Well, we have uh, grant funded programs as well as our you know annual fund and generous donors uh, amongst our members. It's a combination. Um, what what would you say is uh, one of the things you're looking forward to in terms of expanding the program? Well, we're just really looking to have to to to. This is the first year we've actually offered free rowing for Boston Public School students in any of our programs, and so we're really looking to 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 see more and more of those students come to row with us as they realize that hey. I can go with my friend after school. We're hoping that we'll get a lot more kids to join us that way. How many kids are you serving right now? Well, so I believe we have about this summer from the boss, the, the, the uh, rowers who took advantage of the program this summer, mm -hmm. I would say about 66 families, mm -hmm. which I think is really good. It's mm -hmm. the first time that we've ever run it. It started it this spring and summer, and uh, we're looking for a lot more. Um, in general, we have about, and this is just in our recreational program, but about you know, 600 uh, registered participants. And I would say our field trips that we've had, kids coming from different organizations in Boston, about four or 500 kids over the summer and, so and far. And Nona, what is the feedback that you get from families who experience the beauty of being out on the Charles River for the first time? Uh, we get 
very positive feedback. You know, just that 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 it was really enjoyable, that it was fun, uh, and that it's something that folks will look forward to doing again. That's great, Nona. Thanks for joining us today and to tell us about uh, thank you for the community me. rowing program. Thank you. Earning while learning, the summer internship program that's opening up new career paths, that's next on City Line. But first, taking advantage of some of the final enrichment programs of the summer at the Boston Public Library. 